really quiet. It's important that I whisper on the video because they can hear my mic through the video, in case you guys didn't know. Okay, let's try this. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19 Experimental on Build 169, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. All right, so uh, before we get started, I hope you guys enjoy this episode, and if I entertain you, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. And uh, if you are already subscribed, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. If you don't like this video, please consider leaving a constructive comment and help me to improve. All right, guys. So today we are going <clears> to <throat> go north. We're going to sell a bunch of stuff first. Then we're going to go north. Um, after we take a, a side step to the east here and turn that quest in. Uh, but our target today is this tier three fetch and clear. <clears throat> and then after that, we're going to keep going north in hopes that we hit the desert so we can get ourselves some oil shale now that I know how to make gasoline. Um, so let's see. Let me grab a couple things here. We might have a, just a little bit more upgrading to do down here. Uh, we got everything fully repaired. I got this whole chamber up, uh, almost upgraded. And I tore out the little bulkheads that were kind of on both sides of this because I noticed that this block here was very damaged. So I think zombies were standing up on the walls that I had here and beating on that for whatever dumbass reason they do. Um, so I just removed all of that. And as you can see, I also put some stairs here so they can, you know, if they're approaching it from the side or from the angle, it's just a little easier for them to get up on the ramp. So hopefully they don't, you know, try and beat on the ramp. So let's just get that upgraded really quick. And... Um, just because I have so much concrete and because of the fact that, you know, it gives a really good XP, I went ahead and upgraded everything in here. This, a lot of this was all cobblestone. Well, not all of it, but most of it was cobblestone earlier. So we'll just wait for that to cure and then I'll do that again later uh, to finish it up. So I think we still have like this one here that needs to be upgraded, but again, we can do that later. So I just wanted to show that to you. Okay. Um, now I got to thinking. We have two thing. There's two things I want to do on this base before Horde 35. Um, I want to get the hatches on the inside upgraded to steel, and I think I'm going to go ahead and set some electric fences up along uh, along the outside here to go in the gaps um, in between. So in between each um, hatch, we'll have an electric fence going across, and what that's going to do is that's going to slow them down a little bit and stun lock them a little bit more and give me more time to shoot them and repair and that sort of thing. And plus it'll do a little damage too. And it'll be fun because who doesn't like to shock zombies? I mean, come on. <laughs> so um, that's what we'll do. We did find the schematic for the electric fence post and we already, we know the schematic for the generator, all that kind of stuff. And all the more reason why we need to get some gasoline production going. Not that generators use a lot of gas on Horde Night, but... Um, we we want to do that. So that's kind of our goal for this episode. Let's go ahead and put that stuff into there for now. Now, um, everything that you see up here is um, all the stuff that I'm going to sell, and I've already repaired all of it. So we should make a nice, uh, nice little chunk of change out of this stuff. I mean, we have so much that we can't even carry it all with us. So let's uh, put this load down in the bike, and then we'll grab another load. And then we'll sell to first to our Trader Jin, and then we're going to go uh, to Trader Hugh because we have a turn-in for him. And then we'll um, try and sell the remainder to him. And then if he doesn't want it, then we might actually t stock up at Sister Trader Jin's to get the rest sold to her. We still have that other trader that's way off into the southeast that we haven't even visited yet either which might you know that's another thing we could do we could go south instead um well he's he's kind of more east than south and we know the snow's there so nah i don't think we'll i don't think we'll do that i think we're going to be better off going uh, up north let's take one bite of this 
And maybe we'll have some peas too. Just get all that topped off so we're good to go for a while. Let's grab a couple. You don't look so good. You might want to get some antibiotics for that. All right, so she doesn't want the sledgehammer. We sold everything else to her. And now we have 16,353 coin. Stay safe out there. Um, we are doing a job from you. Yeah, okay. So we, we still need to do a job for her. I think she doesn't reset till day 31 if I remember right. Yeah, day 31. If okay. If you find any extra medicine out there, I'll buy it off of you for a discount. Okay, what do we got in here? all that stuff okay I will meet you guys over at Trader Hugh uh, we'll do that quest turn in and sell him that other sledgehammer and then we'll start heading north all right buddy what you got for us you must think you're pretty hot shit now us well, you did it deal so club our agreement. or blue leg armor um that's worth a lot of money. 777 bucks. That's even worth more, though. I think we have purple scrap armor on, on our legs. Can't remember for sure, though. But I think I'm going to take this. And um, let's take the next job from you. You don't have a fetch and clear. Do you have anything to the north? Do you don't have anything to the north, homie? What the hell, man? All right, well, let's just do this clear to the west, then. I have a job for you, if glad you came to your senses. Oh, we're wearing purple iron. Okay, yeah, so we made the right call there. You know, I'm not really interested in the club right now. We might try that later, but we're not specced for it. And that's a pretty nice little chunk of change, so let's sell that to him. And we also wanted to sell this to him, too. Now, we have not looked at his inventory, so what do you got, bud? We might end up using, uh, does 1% more damage per hit until you miss. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, we might end up buying a bunch of, um, steel from the traders just to get the upgrades done we need, done that we need. Um, do you have any steel? You didn't even have any steel. I never l looked to see if Trader Jen had some. I think she does, but can't remember for sure. If there's nothing else, you best be on your way. All right, what do you got in here? Excellent. I think we're going to need 30 steel per hatch. Because you upgrade it to steel, then then I think you can do two more upgrades, and it, I think it takes ten steel per upgrade. Um, well, no, we gotta make it first, don't we? So that's twelve to make it. So I think it, if 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 it's twelve to make it, and then ten to upgrade it twice, then thirty-two per hatch, and we have three hatches, so basically we need a hundred steel for that. Um, and then I also want to upgrade the. The poles that are going across where we're standing uh, to steel too. Um, so that's going to be another 40 because we have four of those. So we need about 140 steel between now and the next horde night, essentially. Maybe we'll luck out and find the crucible, and then we don't have to worry about buying it. Okay, let's um, let's go ahead and read this. Excellent. All right, guys. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go. Um, do this tier three fetch and clear and also is that the right one no it's not that one it's this one make that active there we go so we're gonna do that and um after we're done with it we're gonna continue going north I've, how much gasoline do i have in here Yeah, we got 7,000 gas. Okay. Yeah, we're going to continue going north. 
and, um, you know, see if we can find a desert to the north. So, <clears throat> I guess I'm going to go... Uh, maybe we should cut over this terrain and then kind of go along here because that's pretty rough. Looks like it's kind of rough going this way, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez Louise. This is, like, scary rough. Like, get stuck. Scary rough. We should be alright as long as we don't go into one of those really big holes. Okay. Alright, so I will see you at the quest location. here um I think this house is fairly dangerous <laughs> no if I remember right I think this is the house that killed me on uh, my last dead is dead playthrough if it's the place I'm thinking it is all right well let's hope that doesn't happen this time so let's put a couple things in here that we don't need to take into the house with us but we didn't have an automatic shotgun the last time we tried to do this house so and I don't, I don't think I know where the fat loots are either. So we're just gonna do it legit. Because I ne when I did do this house in, in that playthrough, that uh, dead is dead playthrough, I never actually completed it. So let's just go, fetch and clear. I'm gonna be a little more conservative about what we're actually gonna loot. Um, just because, you know, we're kind of out on a big trip here and I'm not close to home, so... And we're not going to go back home after this. So we're not going to loot everything under the sun this time. Where the heck are all the Zeekers? There's probably some Zeeks behind that. Ooh, four waters. That's good. Mineral waters. Alright. Wake up. What about you? Nobody? Little hot tub action there.
Um, what's that sell for 176? Yeah, this... Uh, we'll take it. If we need to make some room, though, that's gonna go. Or get scrapped. Use that. Cowboy hat sells for 48. Probably not worth taking up a, a spot since we're on the road here. Okay, that door is closed. Ooh, look at that. Uh, tank tops, t-shirts, and hats. We will take it, and we'll take the pill. Yeah, I've got some bad memories of this house, actually. <laughs> Hopefully history doesn't repeat itself this time. What's this? Bladed weapons do 2% more damage at night. Okay. Can't wait till we find the desert vulture. That's gonna be cool. Let's get rid of that. Let's drink that. Okay, it wants us to go out this way. There's a deer. Are we going to run into buzzards out here? Satchel. <clears throat> All right, we came through that way. Yeah, so we got to go this way. Kitchen. Not too terribly worried about the dude outside. Hey, where'd you come from? Was he like... How did he get up here? That's weird. I'm not gonna loot that stuff. Ooh, what do we got here? Harvest 10% more from all ores when buzz from coffee. Very good. So I've been using coffee to mine since I don't have an auger. That's gonna... That's gonna come in handy. Lots of bookshelves. Um, Craft a stun repulsor mod for stun batons and send zombies flying on the charged hit. <laughs> that could be fun, actually. Maybe someday we'll try that. There we go. Serrated Blade Mod. Very nice. Um, chance to ragdoll an enemy with each hit. Thank you very much. And then uh, bats and clubs degrade 20% slower. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Out this way. 
I think this is where I bought the farm. <laughs> Fiery River, right? Um, from the from our, that last playthrough. Yeah, see, we already got somebody there. Where the hell did he come from? Are they coming out this way? All right, well, we obviously take that to make another workbench, I guess. Not taking that stuff. Um, there's obviously nobody in here. Yeah, this place, this is where things got, like, super crazy. Tell you what we're going to do. Let's get this down. I had pretty high game stages at the time, though. And, um... So I got rushed by, like, a bunch of military guys. Looks like these aren't... Zombies aren't that bad, actually. <laughs> That's what you call... A successful twofer. <laughs> that worked out pretty good. Both of them right in the head. Um, okay, so let's actually keep the hammer in the frame there in case we need to do this again. I know I'm a little bit chicken, you guys, but I like I said, I mean <laughs> I have bad memories at this place, so I'm scared. Let's close that. And eh, we don't want that shit. What do we got in here? Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, let's just put a single upgraded frame. Yeah, these seekers aren't that bad, actually. You know, we are um, getting pretty close, though, to 91. We only have nine to go, and then we're there. Tier three. Which will be nice. Um, We already have these, and they don't really sell for that much, so let's just scrap them. Which is kind of odd for the best pants in the game. You'd think they would sell for a little bit more, but they don't, so. There's something in here? Uh-uh. Okay, guess we're going up. Okay, let's make sure we are locked and loaded. Because if the shit hits a fan, I just want to make sure we have options besides the shotgun. Not that the shock the shotgun's going to be fine. We'll just go. Oh man, look at all the red dots up here, though. <laughs> Um, what about, let's see if we can do a little sneaky sneak action and do some blowy blow up action. Just have to be quiet. Let's take this off. Actually, you know what we could do too? Let's try these out. There we go. Now we can be really quiet and stay in the dark. I count one, two, three, four, five. Five. There's one right there. Let's see if we can um Okay, good. We got the ammo. We're being really quiet. It's important that I whisper on the video because they can hear my mic through the video, in case you guys didn't know. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> Feral Arlene. Okay. So we've we've wheedled it down to just two. Here we 
you're right over that way. There we go. All right, here we go. You guys didn't see that. Yeah, see, they're feral. All right, we got one dude left. We got to blow at least one of them up. Return to trader. <laughs> All right, we did it. We did it. Let's put these back on and check out the fat loots. That was just a Ronald McDonald anyway. Yeah, that biker was tough. But, you know, that's to be expected. Just looking to see if there's anything here we might might be hidden, like maybe in here, perhaps. Nope. Okay, let's do the loot skis. And for the good stuff. Got another better junk turret. Blunderbuss ammo we don't care about. All right. Um, and that stuff's okay. It's not that great. Having an, a little nicer junk turret is nice, though. Okay, so we're getting rid of this. We don't need to take that with us. Um, this was the thing I said we would either scrap or get rid of. But you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to get rid of that and get rid of the scrap because we just have to be really conservative with our space while we're out on the road here. I've got tons of electrical parts. We don't need to take those with us right now. we got tons of paper. Um, let's have a beer. Anything else that we really don't need to be carting around? You know, I, was, I think I think that might have been a running or wandering running horde, running wandering horde. Um, so do we really need one Molotov? I hate to waste these though. We don't need another um, wiring tool. We have like three, and honestly, I've got like three wrenches back at the base, and one or two of them are brown, so we don't really need that either. But that's going to be worth taking and selling. All right, I think that's it, guys. I think that's it. So let's um before we, before I let you go here, let's let's take a quick trip north and just see if we can spot a new biome. Oh man, I can't pass that stuff up here. Let's eat that though. Oh, look at that. Where's our Molotov? There we go. See, we didn't waste it. Okay, now we've got a copper ruski that's going to probably spit on us. Case in point. Okay. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Kablooey. All right, we just have Hawaii Five O. Hold still, buddy.
He made it through. Oh, is he stuck on the... So I've got another one. I'm glad we didn't throw that Molotov away. We may put it to really good use. Okay, cool. So, the plan is to go north. It looks like there's a big highway right there, too, but it's not going north, unfortunately. Let's put load stuff on here. Okay, we want to put stuff in here that we're not likely to get more of so that we can keep the stackables in our inventory. Uh, I know those stack, but it's not likely we're going to get more of them, so we'll put those there. Um, what else? What else? What else? Not likely to get another one of those and they don't stack anyway. Let's put the normal, um, 7.62 and 9 mil in there because we're using armor piercing. And that can go in there. We want to keep uh, our hammer with this. The steroids can go in there. Okay, and we'll just save those spots for other stuff because the rest of this, um, you know, is either stackable or fairly common. So we might run into it again. So what I want to do is go north. I mean, we could follow this street up, but it's going to ob obviously end... I am sort of curious to see where this highway intersects. It could intersect with this one. Oh, we got to go do that Cabela's at some point, too. Now, you know what? Let's just go north. Screw it. Let's go north and see what happens. I'd kill that deer, but we don't need to right now. Oh, there, <laughs> that's the end of the road. <laughs> okay. So, here's a gravel road. We could follow it as long for as long as it continues to go north. Ah, oh, crap. Is that burn or wasteland? It looks like a little bit of burn um, and then a lot of, a lot of bit of wasteland. The wasteland doesn't usually have a bunch of burned trees in it though. I'm starting to think we're probably... Oh, shit. We're probably not going to find... a desert here. So let's turn around and get the hell out of here because this place is hell. I had my fill of the Wasteland Biome in our Wasteland Biome series. <laughs> I hate that place. Okay, well... Hmm. I suppose it is possible that we could go into the burn biome that's to the west and keep going. Yeah, see that? Ooh, look at those mountains, too. That is nasty. Nasty, nasty. Um, and see if, if, if there's a desert on the other side of that burn biome, but, boy, I don't know. How much further, yeah, see, that's probably, my guess is that's probably the edge of the map, because, I mean, it stops right there. And same here, I mean, this was probably a really large northern wasteland biome. So, really, I guess... There's still a lot of area to the south. Maybe what we ought to do is just go back home and then in the next episode head south. Because it looks to me like this is probably going to all be snow biome um, all the way to the end of the map. You know, it almost looks like this map is set up to where the green biome's in the center and then all the other stuff's on the side. Uh, you know, keep in mind, too, if you guys have played on pre-gen 1... And you've opened up most of the map. Don't give me any spoilers. Please don't give me any spoilers, because I haven't. You know, this is all I've opened up, and I don't know anything about it at this point. So I'd like to discover that naturally, if you know what I mean. 
Um, yeah, I think south is going to be our best bet, guys. I really do. So that's probably what we're going to do. So I'm going to go home and um, drop all, you know, drop off our stuff, and then um, I might. Uh, I might just do some some you know mundane stuff some mining maybe or something like that maybe go rent some cars overnight and then in the morning we can take off and head to the south and uh, see if we can find the desert that way that's a tentative plan always as always I reserve the right to change my mind though <laughs> uh, so yeah that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we don't want to go that way. It just goes back into town. You know what? I might actually just follow this just to confirm that it does, in fact, go all the way to the, to the wasteland. Uh, but anyway, that's it. We're done. Bye.